Now, my worry isn't that the people who are being arrested will, will stop doing what they do, because I don't think they will, and I think the past four years have been evidence to that. My worry is that those people become voiceless. Those people become people who are not heard, or seen, or cared about. Because that's when the Bahraini government will find the platform to do whatever they want to do to those people. And that's why it's our job, Sayyid Ahmed's job, my job, all my colleagues' job, to make sure that those people don't become voiceless and faceless and forgotten. I'm currently in the UK after having been released from prison in Bahrain uh, because we believe that advocacy within the UK framework is very, very important given the kind of relationship that the United Kingdom has with the Bahraini government and our belief that the UK government actually enables uh, the Bahraini government in their position where they are cracking down on human rights. Well, they're always saying how friendly they are with the regime so they can press the regime to stop the tortures that are being committed to embark on genuine reforms for the independence of judges and lawyers, um, uh, to allow freedom of expression and freedom of assembly, which is totally banned in Bahrain, um, and to liberate the prisoners, including some who are serving life sentences for human rights offences. Human rights defenders are one of the most targeted groups in Bahrain. Uh, the judiciary system has been used as a tool over and over again to go after human rights defenders. And so that's just one point in which the UK can make a difference. Um, separately, in the Human Rights Council, uh, the UK government can support initiatives that hold the Bahraini government accountable, like, for example, the upcoming uh, resolution that will hopefully happen in March 2015. Uh, we not only need the UK government to not stand against it and become an obstacle, but we need the UK government to actually support it. Um, and I think that would be one of the best ways that the UK can prove that they don't have double standards when it comes to which countries they apply their principles of human rights to and which they don't. It was because of the pressure that was created internationally um, on the UK and US government to take a stance on my case that actually guaranteed my release. Receiving Public support internationally um, has an effect on two levels, a professional level and a personal level. On the professional level, I know that it was the international campaign that was created for me during my imprisonment was the reason that I was released from prison in Bahrain. Uh, on a personal level, seeing the kind of support uh, that I had during my imprisonment when I got out uh, really re-strengthened me to continue doing the human rights work that I do, um, you know, in different parts of the world. And so I think that this kind of support is very, very important, not just to create change, but to also enable the human rights defenders to continue doing what they do, despite the dangers that they face, despite the obstacles that they face.